from Pontypool, South Wales, the current super featherweight champion of Wales, the Welsh Dragon, J.T. Williams. And ladies and gentlemen, the champion. He's from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. He is the current super featherweight champion of the Commonwealth, Tony Kidd Pell. So Tony Pett then defending the Commonwealth super featherweight title against JT Williams. 9.30 this morning, Pep scaled nine stone and two pounds. Williams from Cumbran in South nine Wales. And three and a half pounds. He's had 12 fights, won seven, lost three, drawn two. And Tony Pep, good record, 34 fights, 30 wins, four losses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your chief supporting contest. 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the Super Featherweight Championship of the Commonwealth. So, Tony Pep then making the second defence of the championship he won, beating Paul Harvey on points in February of 92. His last defence was against a man called uh, Huey Ford. Sorry, Glenn Ford, my, my apologies, Glenn Ford. He beat Huey Ford in nine rounds in uh, 91. So, JT Williams then. He's uh, fresh off a stoppage win over Wayne Windle, the former Central Area champion. Had a good win over Barry Kelly as well to win the uh, Welsh Super Featherweight title. So Tony Pep, we're a tall, lanky individual from Canada. JT Williams with the uh, Welsh flames licking up the trunks. Pep, six feet one inches tall. That's big for a Super Feather. That's big for a middleweight. Williams up against it here. And Pep's been around for some time now. Turned pro way back in 1982. Williams in 1991. And of course, John Williams is going to have to get underneath that long left hand and avoid a stinging right cross from Pep. As well as he's whipping body punches, which he's also very good at. Nice left hand work there, plus the right cross from Pep. No relation to Willie. Love the uppercut as well. And this is good stuff now from Tony Pep. Really peppering. JT Williams here in round one as he hits the deck there from a combination of punches. Well, he's up at eight. Referee John Coyle waves them on. So, oh, again, a lovely left uppercut there from Pep. Williams trying to get back into this. Well, he's under pressure, taking some stick. Well, Williams very gamely whacking in punches to the body, but once again, it's Tony Pep who's impressing with some lovely inside work. And that uppercut ripping through the defence of the Welshman. So an impressive start to this Commonwealth Super Featherweight title fight. And there's some great punches again from Pep. And that uppercut once again smacking against the chin of Williams. Down for the second time in the opening round. We're about halfway through. And referee John Cole stopped it. So a superb first round win then. Tony Pep destroys JT Williams in about a minute and a half. What a good win there. The second defense of this championship. Tony Pep now 30 years of age. And that's a very sweet win for him. He's mixed in good company for Tony Lopez, the former super featherweight champion. Rashid Lawal, the reigning European champion. 
So there's some good names on the record of Pep and he's put them to that experience a very good use here against Williams. Watch this uppercut. Or uppercuts, I should say. There was plenty of them. And of course, always a good punch against a shorter opponent. And that's a chopping right to the side of the head, then the uppercut. And that was the first knockdown. Great win. I want the world title. Steve Robinson, here we come. Steve Robinson, John John Molina, Gennaro Hernandez, Jesse James Mayhoff. I'm gunning for y'all. Well, he knows their names. Has he got their number? And this is the finishing combination. And that's a very unfortunate uh, occasion for JT Williams. Fired up Tony Pep, destroys him in a round. Well, I think we can expect to see a bit more of uh, Tony Pep in the future. 32 seconds of the first round. The referee John Coyle stopping the contest with Williams in no condition to defend himself. Still, the super featherweight champion of the Commonwealth, Tony Kidd. Well, we're going to take a short break. We're going to be back with tonight's main event. Stay with us.